When should you moisturize? If you have oily skin, normal skin, or dry and sensitive skin, then you may be wondering, when is the right time to moisturize? What sort of moisturizer do I use and how to properly apply it? In this short segment, we'll answer those questions and go into a little detail into how to properly apply the right moisturizer so you get the most benefit and don't end up with the annoying side effects of applying too much moisturizer. Before we get started, head over to drbborganics.com and subscribe to my newsletter to find out about up and coming specials and promotions. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to support this work. Well, let's get right into it. So, what is moisturization? Moisturization is the application of a product to the surface of the skin to further protect the skin and prevent water loss through the epidermis or the upper layers of the skin. Now, people with oily skin or normal skin which doesn't tend to get dry do not normally need to moisturize and they're better off leaving their skin alone. The skin doesn't need any help from the outside and actually does its work fine. However, if you have normal skin which tends to get dry or if you have dry and sensitive skin, then you could definitely benefit from application of a moisturizer anytime you notice that the skin is about to get dry or is already dry. The most effective moisturizers out there are greasy and viscous moisturizers and specifically the most well-known moisturizer, probably the most effective, is white petroleum jelly or petrolatum. There are also vegan alternatives to this product such as my vegan creamy caranuba moisturizing balm or the Alafia product such as the shea butter product or the shea butter and coconut product which is which are both terrific moisturizers. The trick to using these products is to use a drop size amount over the affected area, meaning you want to use something barely visible and spread it out as far as you can go, either covering the entire face or covering an entire lid, such as the forearm or the shins, until you can no longer spread it. That way you end up with a microscopic layer protecting your skin and don't end up with the annoying excess oily residue which can look unnaturally shiny and can actually stain your clothes or sheets now it could be very annoying. Now contrary to urban legend, petroleum jelly is non-comedogenic and it doesn't cause acne, it does not clog pores, so that's complete nonsense and the same goes for the other vegan products that I mentioned, those are non-comedogenic as well. In special cases such as keratosis pilaris, which are tiny red, pink or brown bumps occurring on the arms, on the legs, sometimes on the back or on the face, you can use an over-the-counter eumectin such as ammonium lactate 12% lotion or cream, applying the product twice a day to those areas and you can also fortify the ammonium lactate by adding one of the greasy moisturizers I mentioned earlier, of course in moderation, so a drop size amount over them to add some kick to the ammonium lactate. Well, that's it for this segment. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.